Okay, so I get a lot of questions about articulated masks and I want to show you how to make a moving jaw like this. So there's no padding in this mask yet, so when I talk you don't really see it. And the start of your mask, it has to be two pieces for your like face piece, jaw piece. They both have to be um, hard. So it cannot be like soft foam or anything. It can be as long as it's rigid enough to not flex with your jaw when you move your jaw. But um, hard plastic is the easiest way to go. So this is 3D printed. This is 3D printed in two pieces. And then you need to think about a pivot point. So like a rotation point, like your elbow is a rotation point, your, uh, your wrist is a rotation point, and that's where it will move. So this is a point of rotation here on both sides of the mask. These rotation points, they, they are literally just bolted. So it's just two holes. It's just two simple bolts, uh, screw and bolt. And you can actually take apart the jaw from the mask here. So that's what constrains the movement. And then you also need like a rubber band or a spring to make sure that the jaw is closed when you actually use it. So I can take off these rubber bands and then it's just going to fall off. So I'm going to put these back on. So there you go. Just these two pieces, they have to be parallel to each other, so they don't, because otherwise they can't rotate. So like a door, basically. There we go. So this is just going to hang open if there's no rubber band or spring to close it. And that's why I have these rubber bands. I made like little hooks, but you can also glue string or any kind of flexible material, such as elastic bands or springs or whatever. And then there's a headband to make sure that the mask stays on, of course. I like to make my headbands with elastic, so then the mask doesn't move or like rotate when I try to move it. The placement of the hinge is also important, like the rotation point here is behind my ear. This makes sure that the mask actually stays on, because if you put the rotation point here or somewhere closer to your jaw, the mask tends to like move forward when you try to move it, unless you have like a really strong elastic band here. So for comfortability, I recommend putting the rotation point behind your ear, and that makes it just so much easier. So. You can do this with, uh, you can make like a hard plastic mask with paper mache or with, uh, let's say, EVA foam if it's uh, big enough. And uh, this one is with 3D print or you can use fiberglass or vacuum form or uh, any kind of uh, hard stuff basically. Even cardboard will work. So you can make a frame with cardboard and then decorate it whatever you want. And that's basically it. I need to add a little bit more padding here so the jaw sits a little bit closer because there's a little bit of room here. And then it will be more responsive to my mouth. 